Hey, it's Gloomy Fish. I'm back with another sketchbook tour. Decided to show off a couple of my custom dolls. That's Perfect Heart from Omori, and that's Anna. <laughs> they were both originally Draculaura Monster High dolls. Anyway, sketchbook 30. Can't believe I got so many of these right now. Okay, first page. I don't know what to say about my drawings. This was something from a a sketchbook that didn't become a sketchbook, if that makes any sense. Back in 2019, I was going to use that as one of my sketchbooks, but the paper was terrible and I was sort of testing it out. But I have absolutely no idea what this sketchbook is the closest thing I have to an X means. I wrote that back in 2019 and I have no idea what that means. Melly and Ingo ship stuff because I ship them. <laughs> and some self-indulgence with Ingo and my OC Noah. Uh, Omori. The dream I had where I summoned a ghost from a microwave. I did, the, I did a whole video about it. I think it's called How to Summon a Ghost. Weird doodles that I did really late at night. Surreal kind of drawing paint, painting thing. I don't know what this drawing is, I just... yeah. <laughs> uh, something that happened in a dream I had a few months ago. Apparently in this dream I was convinced that the sound of a train going by, it looked like the scream, the painting. <laughs> and uh... That. <laughs> One of my OCs, Akaro. Expressing my love for weird RPG maker games. I... There were quite a few that I missed out. I missed out Eve, I missed out Off, Angels of Death, a bunch of those, loads more. But I guess I just drew the ones that I thought of immediately. And I guess I could draw from memory. Omori, Yume Niki, Undertale, Hello Charlotte. A self-portrait. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, unhinged Omori page. A sea bunny. I love sea bunnies. They're so cute. Yeah, I was doing a lot of Omori fan art at the time. This was based off a Tumblr post. And that was evidence of me actually going outside for once. I did this nature group for a couple of months. It was, it was fun. More Omori stuff. More Amori stuff. <laughs> Basil and Omori singing It's Dark by Ghost. It made sense to me at the time, but I honestly can't remember why I did it. <laughs> More self-indulgence. Silene. I think I drew this because I had a dream where Silene gave me a sword and it was like a really high honour. Yeah. <laughs> Some humanised Animal Crossing villagers. Olaf, Wulio, Faith and Mint. I want Wulio to come back. He hasn't been in an Animal Crossing game since like the GameCube era. Some sort of weird core and dream core type doodles. I really like this mushroom girl. <laughs> There's a lot of mushrooms in this sketchbook. Salem Moon, Argos watering Mr. Plant. Mr. Plant is a plant and Argos, he does look after flowers sometimes. If you haven't seen the world of Mr. Plant, you need to, it's amazing. Oh, these are some new OCs uh, based on blue screens. That's XV who is based on the the old blue screen, like Windows 95, Windows XP, that type stuff. I mean, that's why it's called XV. And then Icon is based off the modern one that has the little, the little sad face. Uh, Icon, again, showing off how their face works. One of my OCs, Orion. There's a bunch of song lyrics that I've, like, scattered about this page. Uh... Bumblebees are out, Jack's, <laughs> Jack Stover. 
I get that song in my head on a regular basis. Um, very disturbing looking Miku. Uh, but yeah, th this page is weird. All of my Anna inspired OCs, but human. Foxy annoying the hell out of XV. And a kind of doodle thing. Uh, I got back into doing my LSD Dream Emulator Animal Crossing Island. My main character on my main Animal Crossing game, interacting with the Grey Man. Uh, Grey Man and Madotsuki. Kamala, Ingo. Oh, uh, mm, this one's kind of a vent. Uh, tea Bunny. <laughs> This might have been inspired by you, Miniki. I actually can't remember. Uh, an OC. Some OCs. <laughs> this is from LSD Dream Emulator. I really wanted to draw it. These were vents. This just makes me think of pizza, though. <laughs> and this was close to Christmas. Um, a cockroach. I don't know why, I just had the urge to draw a cockroach. <laughs> um, got one of my OCs, but Christmasified. Uh, Melly and Ingo ship thing with Emmett being a third wheel. Uh, another Christmas thing. And this is kind of based on kind of the weird feeling Christmas always ends up giving me. Some more kind of like dreamcore type doodles. More mushrooms. I love. <laughs> more Christmas stuff. Somewhat different looking sans the skeleton. Brassius. Oh, uh, this was when I got um, Pokemon Violet. <laughs> I was obsessed. This was mostly like Scarlet and Violet stuff. More Scarlet and Violet stuff, also Ingo. But <laughs> I knew before I even played it that Brassius would be my favorite character, and he is. This is based off a conversation between Alpha Rod and Jaden Animations. Uh, Brassius being Brassius. Brassius and Hassel because I ship them. Uh, that was one. There was this uh, Twitter account that was parodying uh, Sonic for Real Justice uh, but they were doing it like homophobic Christians but it was really over the top and ridiculous there was a tweet when Miku uh, Miku said that um, Fukuse doesn't look Christian so I just drew that <laughs> but of the, the account was all a joke by the way they weren't actually like homophobic Gita, Grusha I don't like that page. Gita again, because I wasn't really happy with this one. So I drew her again. A divorced tandem mouse. <laughs> Brassius. Tinkerton, but like, human. Golden Go. Mouse hold. This was a dream I had. Biblically accurate angel, but with a body, I guess. This was a nature group thing. Cute. Tardigrade. Page dedicated to Brassius. Apparently he flirts with grass type Pokemon that he likes, which is kind of a funny thought. <laughs> I 
have some thoughts on Rifle, the history teacher from um, Scarlet and Violet. She gives me Volo vibes a little bit. So I drew her as a Ginkgo Guild merchant. And also I have like this theory that Volo was the one who sold the treasures of ruin to the Paldean king. So, so I just kind of drew that. <laughs> uh, some more Meli and Ingo stuff because I ship them. <laughs> oh yeah, and I saw, I went to see Megan. Love that film. <laughs> And this was all nature group stuff as well. We made like very basic sundials with like a twig. We marked like the time with leaves. Also birds were making a lot of noise that day. I don't know what this was all about though. <laughs> More weird drawings. A uh, death body. My favourite song that Ghost has done for a while. Probably my favourite song that Ghost has done since Reckless Battery Burns. And I'm still, like, constantly... I'm still listening to that song on repeat. I absolutely love it. <laughs> Death Body again. <laughs> Some... OC is acting out a thought that I had. I don't get it when you tell someone that they were in your dream and they get weirded out about it, like... I'm sorry my subconscious thinks you're cool, I guess? <laughs> and that's milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. Uh... This was the anniversary of Temptation Stairway. gonna skip past this page, this page is very venti. Um, I don't really have anything to say about any of these drawings. Oh, this mermaid was this little art blob thing. That's supposed to be Bead from Pokemon, but it doesn't really look like him. That was kind of a vent, but I, I like it. This was more nature group stuff. Mm. These are my 10 favorite Pokemon from the current Pokemon generation. <laughs> so yeah, Iron Valiant, Tinkaton, Mousehold, Iron Hands, Golden Go, Chienpao, Cerulege, Obeliva, Espartha, and Gaganacle. They're my ten fate they're my top ten. This was more nature group stuff. Oh, I started playing Magician's Quest again for a while. Again, I don't really have anything to say about these. Tamari, <laughs> Ingo, Isu and Zoroark, Meli, Marvin the Paranoid Android, Tuvok and Neelix from Star Trek Voyager. Amelia from Infinity Train, Space Boy from Amori, <laughs> me remembering that there are other body types. <laughs> uh, 
yeah it's a problem it's a problem <laughs> i need i'm working on it <laughs> it probably doesn't help that all of my ocs are skinny <laughs> margo from hands up three of my ocs having a karaoke night and they're singing death body because of course they are and maker can't sing yeah A lot of people think this has like an environmentalist message to it. It doesn't really, I just like the aesthetic, but like, I guess it could have an environmentalist message if you want it to. <laughs> um, okay, this was when I got really into dolls. I was going through a pretty stressful time and I ended up buying this honestly really beautiful doll just to like, I don't know, cheer myself up. There's another doll that I bought, a Novi Star doll, which I really wanted at the time when they came out. But at the time I was just like embarrassed about the thought of wanting a doll. It was a whole thing, but I managed to get a secondhand one for not ridiculously expensive price like okay if you search novi stars on ebay you'll see a lot of ridiculous prices i swear to god <laughs> just for some like alien dolls my other novi star doll another doll <laughs> i've drawn a lot of dolls that same novi star doll iron valiant me my first custom doll unica another doll <laughs> another doll more dolls <laughs> there's a lot of dolls made a doll of one of my ocs as well um and that's um Saki Sanobashi, the, uh, the lost anime that doesn't exist. <laughs> Another doll! <laughs> Some weird drawings. Another custom doll that I made. I gave her three eyes, because why the hell not? Rokoko from Amori. Some... trippy things. I don't know, trippy things? Some, like, swirly things. <laughs> A very surreal thing. Um, this was actually kind of a little bit inspired by Shintaro Kago. As someone who really likes body horror and surrealism, I think his art is pretty awesome. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Around this point, I became obsessed with the uh, the mockumentary, uh, the Centrifuge Brain Project. It is 100% up my street. I love it. I was watching it on repeat at this point and I decided just to draw this like one-off thing about two of my OCs going on the high altitude conveyance system which if you haven't seen the video it's uh, a 14 hour ferris wheel that just kind of goes up into the sky like <laughs> But, it, but this this one of what should have been a one off drawing became like a whole series, so you'll probably see more of that. Some stuff kind of based off dreams, except for that moth. That's just a moth, and whatever the hell that is. But the rest of it is based off dreams. This was inspired by the Centrifuge Brain Project, and specifically the high altitude conveyance system. That's what the the ride looks like. So this was when I decided to continue the little OCs on the 14 hour ferris wheel thing. <laughs> because it was all I could really think about at the time. And <laughs> no, I decided to make it a series around this point when I decided to make this snap cube reference. It's probably like my one absolute favorite thing that happened in a Snapcube dub. <laughs> oh god. Another one. 
this was kind of inspired by not just like the centrifuge brain project but the artist behind it till novak i became like really obsessed with his stuff around this time and that's another doll <laughs> more of that series that shouldn't have been a series Anna and Mooney, but like human. This was inspired by Till Novak. <laughs> I really like this one. Um, some OCs, I don't know who that is. More of that. <laughs> Automatic drawing complete with gibberish words whatever the hell that was all about. <laughs> Biblically accurate angel. <laughs> oh, these drawings. <laughs> uh, yeah, these are pretty normal. <laughs> I was feeling a bit dazed that day. Collage. This was kind of event i guess oh this is a page about some of my childhood dreams centrifuge brain project again i decided to scribble down the actual park i didn't get all of the rides in because i didn't have room but I managed to draw the spherathon, the high altitude conveyance, the steam pressure catapult, the wedding cake, and the swing machine. But there were a few that I wasn't able to put in. As you can see, I really, really like this video. They finally got off the ride. <laughs> the skull watch, Omori. I had an art block for a while and I bought myself a doll. This is her <laughs> and that's her official artwork and drawing her, drawing this doll cured my art block. One of my custom dolls. Oh, Lacey Games. <laughs> it's like a horror series but disguised as like 2000s flash games, like a lost media type thing. Uh, Emmett and Inga. This might have been the final part of my OCs doing the Centrifuge Brain Project thing. Just a little callback to Hatsune Miku showing up. This was... I was fed up <laughs> and I didn't know what to draw. Another one of my custom dolls. Some Pokemon stuff. These two are based off Tumblr posts. Mutant Heart. I love her so much. Oh, this was when the Eve remake... Well, not when it came out. It, it had been out for ages at this point, but this was when I finally played it. This is also my first Eve fan art since, like, early 2018, I think. And that, that was absolutely terrible. <laughs> Akari as Eve, Ingo as Gary. And then I was trying to draw, like, a Hisui and Zoroark as Mary and a bonnet as red eyes. Argos from the world of Mr. Plant. Oh, this. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. There's this like, I guess it's like a kind of immersive interactive art installation fairly close to where I live and it's called Wake the Tiger and I went there uh, about a month ago now, uh, but it was like really it was so immersive that they had cast members, and this was one of them. Um, it kind of started off with this guy sort of shoving us into another world. <laughs> and then we were kind of free to explore. And uh, I also met this guy, another cast member. There were all these like, there were these four guilds that were based off the elements, and at the end you could take this quiz to find out what your guild was and then you could sort of receive a blessing at the temple of the self and I ended up getting the air guild which I thought I would be to be honest um but yeah I have been so obsessed with this and I want to go again and 
If anyone is ever in Bristol, you should totally go. It's amazing. <laughs> Uh, and it kind of got me into this kind of steampunk phase as well. Uh, so I drew, I drew steampunk Inga. I was feeling very existential because it was my birthday. <laughs> and my birthday always makes me feel existential. My birthday and the new year, they both, they do that to me like mad. It, it's the worst. <laughs> I guess this was somewhat inspired by Wake the Tiger as well. Um... It's kind of influenced my art a lot, a bit like uh, the Centrifuge Brain Project. They're like the two biggest things that have influenced my art right now. This was kind of inspired by Wake the Tiger as well, because kind of like the, the kind of four elements thing has been in my brain a lot since. Yeah, this was also inspired by Wake the Tiger and my newfound obsession with steampunk. I guess me being into steampunk isn't exactly new, but me being into steampunk this much is kind of new. I want to draw cursed thing. Ah. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. This it was kind of a redraw, kind of a sequel to something I drew in 2019. I'll put the original somewhere in this video's vicinity. <laughs> God, there are so many Snapcube references in this sketchbook. <laughs> Neo C, Comet, uh, she is inspired by Wick the Tiger. <laughs> um, I'm still trying to come up with a last name for her. I was playing with some watercolour pencils. A couple of comics about Comet. <laughs> and then Isla surrounded by mushrooms. And then I just kind of got fed up so I just stuck some things from like doll boxes in here. <laughs> I just really wanted to finish this sketchbook. So yeah, that's it. That's the sketchbook. And I still don't know how to end videos. This, that's now my outro. My outro is I still don't know how to end videos.